Hi friends, my name is Prasad. You're watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario. First, let's understand what's the requirement and then we can go into like solution. So here our requirement is we do have a couple of measures over here. You can see total sales, uh, total MTD, total QTD, total YTD. We do have different measures over here. We are showing right now. But what we need is we need to give the access the user so that he can select what measure that he want to sh show and then that measure need to be shown in single call so when we have multiple measures and then if you want to show them okay show single measure as per user's selection so how can we show that so this is this is the requirement and then we'll go before going into the solution i just want to give a small intro regarding our power bi training so we are starting a new power bi and sql batch and then we'll but you are interested to join with our training, you can contact on this number. And again, like if you have any queries regarding okay, the index or something else, okay, what are the topics and then what are the things that we describe or I'll teach in our sessions, you can go ahead and then look at our uh, video description or else you can ping on this number, you'll get all the information. Thank you again, like let's go into our solution. So how to create that one? So when you have multiple measures and then okay, as per user selection, you want to show only that measure in a single column. So how can you do that one? So you can, I'll show you that one also. So you can see, like if I select over here MTD, the only MTD is going to show over here. If I select QTD, QTD is going to select or uh, show over here. And then the title also changes as per that. And if you click YTD, you can see the YTD over here, same YTD is going to show over here. That's our requirement. First of all, how to create that one. So as we already have our measures, you can see already I have uh, uh, the total MTD, total QTD, total sales, and then total YTD, couple of measures. And after that, first we need to create a table with the measure names. So whatever the measure okay, that we do have, I want to create. But right now I don't want to take this total sales. I want to create a table with these three measures. So these three measures, I want to give an option to user to select from his side. So how to create that one? So you can, you can have multiple options to create a table, inline table. So you can enter data, you can click on this the data and then okay, you can write okay whatever um, the measure names that you do have and then enter that one. But I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to do it in tax. So we can do that. Again, here also you do have multiple. We can see, go to model and then create a new table. And then, okay, you can write this okay, or whatever it might be. So here to create a table, I've been using uh, the data table function. And then this is my column name. And then this is the data type of that particular column. So I want to create it as a text column, so string. So I made it, okay, the data type as string. And again, so if you, went, if you want to enter the values, you need to enter in the curly braces like this, the totals YTD, total QTD, and then total NPD. So whenever you want to create only single column, you can okay make it in another way also, less simple way. I'll show you that one. So let's make it okay, quoted, and then I want to move it to the next line, and then I want to create over here. Simply just take a curly braces, then whatever you want, right? You can write it over here. So total YTD. Then make sure you write exactly, okay, uh, how you, uh, you want to show like this. You don't want to make it any confusion over here. I'll write it as the names of okay, the measures. And again, total MTD. I want to close that one. Right? If you, you can make like this also. If you uh, make like this, okay, the column name, okay, or here will not be measure name, and then you can't give any pre-described um, column name. But if you want to give any column name uh, for this okay, table, you can just use the data table. Either way that you can use it, but I don't want to use this one. I want to use okay, only this one. So let's make it coded, right? And this is my function. Right. right, that's it. I got my table. 
So this is the table, and then you can go ahead and then you can see from here also measure names, fix names, and then you can see measure the column name is measure names, and then you got all the tables, all the, uh, all the values that you entered over here. So I got all the measure names, okay, you right over here, okay, in a table. So I want to use that particular column in this slicer. What we have been used over here in the slicer, you can see the measure names from the matrix name table. One, the table that we created right now from that, the particular measure names column have been taken over here in this particular slicer. So once you take the slicer again, like, okay, there's no relation between like, when you click this, okay, we need to get it, uh, that particular measure over here. So for that, again, we need to create a measure such that as per your selection, okay, that measure need to be okay populated over here. So we can do that. So here I've been created another measure for that. So again, uh, uh, I want to make it easier for you people so you can understand. This is what. So I want to use a switch function in that selected value of this particular okay, column selected value of this matrix names column. So in this particular column, what uh, whatever you are choosing in this particular slicer, whatever you are selecting, that particular measure I want to like get. Whenever we got that particular measure, I want to compare if, that, if the selected value in this particular slicer is total MTD, then I want to show the total MTD measure. The selected value of this particular slicer is total QTD, I want to show this one. For that, what we need to do, we need to create a switch function in that you need to use selected value function, which retrieves the selected value from here. And then if that particular selected value is this one, then I want to show this one. So like that, what, how many measures that you do have, you'll write like that. Here I do have only three measures. I want to show that one and then I've, uh, I've been taken. And then for that particular measure, I've been, uh, given the title as selected sales. Again, okay, so I want to get that particular, okay, uh, selected sales over here. So I created another table over here. So in that particular table, I've been taken the uh, selected sales over here. So right now what happens, whatever the value that I select over here, okay, that will be, that will come over here into this particular selected value. And then, okay, what is that? Selected empty total MTD. So if the value is this one, so it shows this particular measure right now. If I select total QTD, okay, the selected value of this particular okay, column, which is nothing but selected value in the slicer, is right now total QTD. So the selected value is QTD, so if this is QTD, total QTD, then you will uh, okay, get this particular measure over here. So in that way, we are making, okay, here, as per the source user selection, we are getting that particular measure into single column. This is the thing that we are creating. And then again, like here, okay, you can see if I'm selecting uh, uh, some measure, here you can see uh, the title is okay, not changing. And then you can see here, the title is changing as per that one. So how can we do that? Dynamic title. But that again, like you can create a small measure and then you can tell that selected value of that particular slicer or else whatever the column that we use in the slicer that we use selected value of that particular column means the selected value in this particular okay, slicer, we are taking that and then keeping in this particular measure. And then again, we'll come into like this table, then go for Zendel and then go for title. The title, you can see it's like FX. So conditional format that have been done. So I'm taking that one. So I'll remove that one and then I'll create again. So click on the FX and then go for values. And then right now select the dynamic title, the measure that we created right now and click okay. You'll get that measure. And then whatever the value that you select, that will come as a title. And then you can make a lot of changes. Okay, for that again, I'm going to create another um, video how to uh, create a dynamic uh, title based upon different different values if you have a multiple slices and then if you want to show like multiple uh, values over here in this uh, heading how can you do that okay i'll create another uh, video for that for right now 
this is what okay we are expecting and then this is what we get so again here okay make sure that okay you use okay single selection in slicer options so go for okay slice visuals and then slicer settings and then selection make it single if you make okay if the user makes okay more than one value selected and then you can't show that one in one single column so that's why you can make it again if you want to make okay somewhat uh, advanced okay operations that i'll create another video for you people so right now just have a look into this and then if you're interested in our training uh, contact uh, our number and then you can have all the information okay, whatever you're looking into like whatever the requirement that you want to have a solution just to keep all those things in the comments uh, i'll um, make a video on that one and then post it to you again hope you are watching till now right you like the video so please uh, hit the thumbs up button and then even subscribe hit the bell icon and then okay share it to your loved ones thank you have a great day i'll catch you with an other interesting scenario until then have a great day bye bye